You want to convert text values to numbers. You can see the offending values here in my data. All the text values are left aligned. Now there's a number of ways you can do this, but I'm going to show you two ways that I think are most efficient. Now the first method requires you to type a zero somewhere in your sheet. I'd then copy it, so Control C on my keyboard, and then I'd select all my data, the data that includes some text values. Then on the Home tab of the ribbon, I'd go to this Paste drop-down button, and I'd go to Paste Special, and then I'd select Add. Click on OK, and what that does is effectively add zero to all the values, which means that they have to be returned as numeric values. Now the downside of this method how we've done it so far is that we lose the formatting. I could quickly resolve that up here. But it is a bit of a shame that we lose the formatting. Now there is a way to retain the formatting. Let me just undo what we've done there. What you need to do is make sure the cell that contains the zero is formatted in the same way as these cells. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on one of these cells that contains a numeric value. I'm gonna to go to the Format Painter, and I'm gonna paste that format into the cell with the zero. Then I'll go through the same process. So I copy that cell. Then I'm gonna select all the cells that I'm gonna paste into. Go to the Paste drop-down button. Go to Paste Special, go to Add, and then click on OK. Now, another way of doing the same thing is to use the value function. So over here, in a separate part of the sheet, I'm going to type equals value, open bracket. Now, if you're in Excel 365, you can just select all of the cells that you're going to need to convert. And then if you press Enter, you'll see that it returns all of those values as numeric values. Now, if you're not in Excel 365, you can do the same thing but you would just reference the first cell in your data set. And then copy down. And then copy across. So what you could then do is copy those values and paste over the original data. Go to the Paste drop-down. And then what you want to do is select this option, values and number formatting. Now the only thing I do lose is the currency formatting, but that's easy to resolve. I can go up to here and currency, and then lose the decimal places. Okay, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully that's useful. If it is, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. And I'll see you next video.